What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to yet another episode of Dirty Math. My name is Matt, AKA the Dirty Math Teacher. Today's Desmos activity is an activity called Point Collector Lines. Kind of an interesting title. I guess we're working with lines. In this particular activity, we're gonna be drawing inequalities in two variables. The idea is we're trying to collect points or the most points possible. Again, some kind of f***ed up math game, but hey, whatever makes this interesting. The basic idea is the red dots are negative points, blue dots are positive points, and so we're trying to get the highest positive score possible. This is a practice activity, so if you are kind of unsure as to how to work with inequalities, you might need to go to a previous video or go watch a Khan Academy video or something because I sure as heck am not gonna help you. Um, just kidding, maybe I will do that in the future, but right now, as of right now, as of this recording, I don't have anything to help you with, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Without further ado, let's get to the activity. Here we are at screen one, uh, warm up number one. We're gonna collect some points, aim for high score. This one's kind of easy. We're just gonna drag those two purple dots until we get the, um, the biggest ratio of um, blue dots to red dots, right? Because the blue and the red dots will cancel each other out. So, you know, you kind of have to fiddle with this until you get to the point where, you know, you have the highest score possible. Right now I'm at three. Um, and because I'm the only one doing this, I'm always gonna have the highest score, but um, you might be doing this with a classroom full of your peers. So um, in that case, you might be competing for the highest score. Maybe a bunch of you will have the highest score because there is a theoretical maximum, uh, which is not three by the way. So um, if I you just gotta kind of figure out where am I gonna drag these points to get the most blue points possible. Okay, I, I think something like this will work, right? Um, because this way you're, you're collecting all the blue dots and only two of the red dots. And I don't think there's any other way to do this, right? Because if you if you go, if you drag this this way, you're still losing out on one of the blue dots, right? So yeah, there's just not a good way to do this. Or if you're going like this, right? Um, no, you're still, you're still missing out on that blue dot. So in any case, the highest theoretical maximum is four. So um, move it around until you get to the point where you have this and you're just omitting that one red dot. Here's screen two. Um, now we'll use algebra to collect the points, edit the inequality and price score, blah, 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 blah. So they give you a hint here. Try changing the direction of the inequality. So when I said that you should have a pretty good grasp of inequalities, this is, um, I guess they actually wanted to give you hints. So if you didn't know, if you change the direction of the inequality, it changes which, which side you shade, right? And that's typically the, the hardest part of all this, right? Um, which side do you shade? How do you know, Matt, which side to shade? And, and I used to tell students that since um, it says Y greater than X, you want all the values on top of the y, right? And, and I just found that that was kind of an inaccurate way to describe it, especially as the line gets steeper, it's hard to tell which, what's the top, which, what's the bottom of that inequality. And so I think the best way to do it is to pick a point, plug in the numbers and, and see if it makes a true statement. If it makes a true statement, you shade that part. So for example, if you pick this point here sure. at zero, at zero comma four, four where, where zero, zero is the x, x value, value and four, and four is, is, is the y, y value, value. Plug, it plug it in, is, is greater four than zero, greater yeah, than zero, then, yeah, yeah, then, then shade cool. that, right? Because if you right. picked four, four comma zero, picked right? Four comma is zero, right? Is so zero greater than four, it's true, shade that. Side Pick a point that if it's true, shade that, so or that that side that the inequality is on. So or that side that the point is on for that. You get what I'm saying. Screen three. Okay, so now we're gonna edit the inequality on our own. And um, let's see, I'm at zero right now, but I think I can get this inequality in a, in a way where I don't collect any of the red dots, right? So we want something with a negative slope. So let's try negative 2x. Okay, so that kind of works. Let me let me give this an intercept at plus one. Okay, good. Okay, so y greater than negative 2x plus one. Now notice those two red circles are open, 
right? And it's open because this is just y greater than, not y greater than or equal to, because if we wrote it or equal to, because those two dots are on that line, it would include them. But because there is no line underneath that inequality statement, it doesn't include them. So um, 10, I think that's the maximum score you can get. If you get anything higher, let me know. Yeah, I think that's the highest score you can get. So now screen three, here's screen four. Okay, so I see three, or sorry, four red dots up there and a, and a, and a load of them down here. So we wanna avoid the bottom, we want the top part. So, okay, which makes sense. They just say try changing the y-intercept. Okay, I'm gonna change this to a minus two. Um, and because it is y greater than or equal to, it's gonna include those two blue points. And, and sure enough, we get eight points. And I don't think there's a way to get higher than that because um, if you did it any other way, I mean, we collected all the blue points and minimize the number of red points we can get. So I think eight is the highest score you can get. Let me know if you got anything higher. I don't think there is. Yeah, there, I'm pretty sure there's not. Screen five. Challenge number one, write in, okay, so we have to write our own inequality. Let's see. Collect all the blue points and minimize the number of red points that you can get. Um, man, okay, so I wanna avoid this group here because yeah, any other way you cut it, you're gonna, you might collect all the blue points, but you're gonna collect more red points. And I think three, these three red are, are the only ones that we're gonna be able to avoid. So uh, let's do Y. Uh, less than negative x because I want a negative slope and then let's move up uh, let's give it an intercept at 3 yeah y less than negative x plus 3 score 7 and I think that's the best score you can get because um, I, I just can't think of another way to do this where you're uh, you get all the blue points and minimize the number of red points I think that's it 7 let me know in the comments if you get more than 7 Challenge number two. Um, okay, so this one's kind of interesting, right? There's there's a good assortment. I mean, it's kind of those red points, man. Um, they're interspersed there, so I might be able to cut out two of those red ones while collecting all the blue ones. Or if we sacrifice, you know, let's just play around with this. If I put x equal or x greater than two, x greater than two, well not 22, x greater than two, I have a high score of two. And uh, let me see, even if I angled this line, right, and collected those two, those would cancel each other out, so I'd still be at a score of two. Um, so I had to sacrifice that one little blue dot there. If I angled it right here, what would happen? No, I'd still be at two, right? Um, I think this is the best. I mean, obviously this is not the only inequality you can do, but I think two is the highest score you can get. You could have created a, a line, an angled line this way and, you know, sacrificed two blue dots, but um, either way, you would have still ended up with a score of two. Okay, screen seven. Okay, so there's five up here, five down there, one in the middle. I don't think we're gonna be able to avoid that one in the middle, so our strategy should be to kinda of either cut out the, the five on top or the five on bottom. Let's let's go with cutting out the five on top. You can think of the ones, you can think of an inequality to cut out the five on the bottom. I'm gonna do five on top. X less than, what should my slope be? I want to go up two and over one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, one third one third x um, plus eight how's that there we go score is eight yeah cut out those ones at the top or the bottom and you, and you end up with the same score so i think i think that's the best score we're gonna get okay here's screen number eight um man um this is probably the biggest grouping, right? Um, that we can eliminate. I feel like we can angle this line where we can uh, just kind of cut out those six red points there. 
let's try that y uh, greater than um, let's see negative x uh, what's my slope going to be let's figure that out first I wanted to go through that one and, and kind of include that one so let's see one two so one two three four five six seven I'm gonna go down seven and over two so seven over two and then I want to y intercept way down there so negative eight uh, negative nine okay cool so that worked for me score is 14 and that way I, I kind of avoided those bit that biggest grouping of red dots right we sacrificed four those blue dots but I think that's a big yeah that's the highest score we can get right um, is there another way I mean I feel like even if we angle that that line more we could have collected that blue dot but we would have also picked up that red one and, and there's no point in doing that so we'll move on screen nine which inequality is shown here okay so the only difference between these two inequalities is this one is y less than or equal to this one is y less than because the right hand side of, of those inequalities is, exact, is exactly the same they both have an intercept of five they both have a slope of negative two so which one do you pick well look at this it doesn't include it so you're gonna have to go with this one explain your thinking the circles are open I think is that too short of an answer I don't know ask your math teacher Fuck, I'm, I'm not your math teacher I'm just some stranger on the internet you're looking for for answers from so the f you're looking at me for for the answers. so anyhow um, do you have to do you have to sketch I feel like if you explain yourself you don't have to sketch right um, maybe you can say open try to do your best trying to awkwardly chicken scratch your way with a mouse. I hate, uh, ugh, it's just a weird feeling trying to do this. All right, screen 10. How many points will y greater than x minus four score? So, hmm. The red dots seem to be kind of symmetrical, right? Three in this corner, three in this corner, one in that corner, one in that corner, so. I think our best bet, well, or sorry, I'm not trying me, I'm trying to collect the dots. They just want to know how many this is going to score. So, uh, let's draw that line first. Y greater than X minus four. I shouldn't say line, or it is going to make a line, but inequality. So if we're going to go from here to there, and it's Y greater than, it's not going to include those two points. So let's see, if I use a line tool, Start from here, go all the way up to here, something like that. <clears throat> and then we're gonna shade uh, everything up here, right? Something like this. Yeah, oops. Too long. Um, so do your best to kind of shade stuff like that. And then let's see, what's gonna cancel out with what? It's gonna cancel out with this one. This one will cancel out with this one. This one will cancel out with this one. This one with this one, this one with this one, which leaves us with two, one, two, sorry, three. So I'm gonna say it's gonna leave us with three. Um, so explain your thinking. I've already used the sketch tool. Um, so explain your thinking. I don't know, I feel like this is one of those things where the sketch does all the explaining for me, so I'm not gonna do it. You write your own answers. I'm already helping you enough. Your math teacher probably hates me by now. So, write your own answers. Uh, screen 11, which one doesn't belong? Which one of these inequalities seems different from the rest? Okay, so whenever I give my students questions like these, there's more than one answer. So, uh, let's see, for example, if we pick this one, you can say this one is the only one that has um, that little line underneath the inequality. <clears throat> Pick this one, you can say um, this is the only one with a y intercept, a, a fractional y intercept, right? Um, if you pick this one, you can say this one is the only one that doesn't have a y intercept. Um, if you pick this bottom right hand one, you can say it's the only one that doesn't have a fraction in the inequality. I don't know. Pick whichever one you want, right? And just, I guess, determine what 
um, which one doesn't belong, right? So, screen 11, let's go to screen 12. Uh, challenge number five. Okay, so in this case, okay, we're introducing compound inequalities. Look, look at the hint. So, uh, try something like, so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this. See what happens. So look at that, compound inequality. So you're getting all the y's in between those two lines, x minus one and x plus one. So um, let's do our best to collect all the blue dots or as many of the blue dots as possible, right? So I feel like, I mean, the easiest thing to do would be to just kind of increase <coughs> the y uh, intercepts here. But when we do that, we're gonna collect those three red dots and those three red dots. And I feel like there's a way we can angle this if we angle this the right way. So if we go from here to there, let's let's try that. If, what, what would that slope be? One. So I want to go from here to here, and it'll collect all the blue dots. So what was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight up. And then, all right, nine up and go one, two, three, four, five. Nine over five. Nine over five. Okay, nine over five x plus, um, plus five. Aha, okay, so, and then we're gonna do the same thing over here, nine over five x uh, minus five, yeah, okay, okay. So there we go. That way we've collected all the blue dots. We haven't collected any of the red dots. So I think 18 is the highest score you can get, unless there's secret hidden blue dots somewhere. But um, I, th I like that score. Here we go. Congratulations, you made it to screen 13. Here, you're gonna make your own challenge and share with your class uh, what uh, what their challenge uh, screens are gonna look like. But as for our time here together on Dirty Math, or on this episode of Dirty Math at least, our time is over. I hope you liked this particular activity. It was a lot of practice, so it probably wasn't as fun as the other ones, but I hope I helped you. If this activity helped you, like I said, please like, please subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.